What if the dinosaurs, the saber-tooth, and mammoth perished in one stroke just 12,500 years back? What if prehistoric man was much more advanced than modern man? What if the arrangements of the pyramids are a reflection of a star constellation and a message from the life beyond Earth? These may seem like fantasies, unless you peep into the mystical world of author Graham Hancock. In this video, we'll look at the life and theories of the man who challenges our facts with an alternate reality and blurs the line between fact and fiction. Graham Bruce Hancock was born in Edinburgh, Scotland on August 2nd, 1950. When he was three, his father accepted a job as a surgeon in Christian Medical College, Velour, and the family moved to India. Graham didn't spend a long time in the ancient land of mysticism, but he fondly recollects his stay in India as, My childhood encounter with India was formative, and I'm grateful that I was introduced at such an impressionable age to its aura of intriguing and impenetrable mystery. The family returned to the UK after four years, where Graham earned a degree with first-class honors in sociology from Durham College in 1973. After graduation, Graham decided to pursue a career in journalism and started writing for newspapers like The Times, The Guardian, and The Independent. His career took a turn in 1981, when he relocated to East Africa as the regional correspondent for The Economist. He published his first book, Journey Through Pakistan, the same year. In Africa, he experienced problems like poverty and epidemic firsthand, which inspired him to write a series of other books, like Ethiopia, The Challenge of Hunger, and Lords of Poverty, among others. While these investigative books kept honing Hancock's writing skills, they didn't do well in the market. They were treated like travel books by readers. Hancock changed his orientation and ventured into the territory of the occult that had been fascinating him in Africa. Steven Spielberg's 1981 blockbuster film Raiders of the Lost Ark had influenced Hancock. He picked elements of adventures and mystery from the Indiana Jones film and blended it with the tribal traditions and lore of Ethiopia to write his next book, The Sign and the Seal, The Quest for the Lost Ark of the Covenant, in 1992. The book was about the biblical Ark of the Covenant, the pattern of which was suggested to Moses by God and which contains the Ten Commandments and Aaron's rod that possesses miraculous power. For centuries, people have been on an endless search to find and recover this sacred object. In his book, Hancock proposed a theory of the Ark's historical movements and current whereabouts. According to him, the Ark was removed from Solomon's temple in Jerusalem by temple priests during the reign of the evil king Manasseh of Judah around 650 BC, and then after changing hands and traveling through Egypt, it ended up in the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion in Ethiopia. The book caught the imagination of ancient mystery lovers, and it became a bestseller. His speculations were considered possible, if not plausible. Though the book has attracted a lot of criticism from experts who dismissed it as hogwash and a fireside ghost story, Hancock had found his groove. Having found the success formula, Hancock again mixed history with liberal doses of enigma, pseudo-history, and pseudoscience to come up with his next book in 1995, Fingerprints of the Gods. In the book, Hancock argued that an advanced civilization existed between 15,000 to 10,000 years ago, which possessed scientific and technological knowledge equal or superior to present civilization. The super-civilization that was concentrated in and around Antarctica was perished by a global cataclysm triggered by a sudden displacement of the Earth's crust 13,000 years ago. It caused floods, earthquakes, volcanoes, and shuffling of climate zones. The survivors of the catastrophe managed to pass along vestiges of the great knowledge that is now preserved as myths. The evidence was found in ancient Egypt and South American civilizations like the Mayas and the Aztecs. These speculations are very similar to the Indian mythological books revered by Hindus that talk about airplanes and advanced ballistic weapons in ancient ages. Hancock, however, admits that his theory is influenced by the mid-20th century hypothesis of Charles H. Hapgood. 
He also echoes the theory of 19th century writer Ignatius Donnelly, author of Atlantis, The Antediluvian World. Hancock's views are based on the idea that mainstream interpretations of archaeological evidence are flawed or incomplete. The book got him immense fame, but it invited the criticism and snobbery of scholars. Hancock kept collecting fat paychecks. The book also inspired the 2008 epic action-adventure film 10,000 BC and the 2009 blockbuster disaster film 2012. Roland Emmerich, the director of 2012, stated in his interview to Time Out magazine, I always wanted to do a biblical flood movie, but I never felt I had the hook. I first read about the Earth's crust displacement theory in Graham Hancock's Fingerprints of the Gods. The success of the two books encourages Hancock to publish book after book and satiate the occult hunger of his readers. One of the many recurring themes in Hancock's works is the Orion Correlation Theory, or OCT, which states that there is a correlation between the location of the three largest pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex and Orion's belt of the constellation Orion. The builders of Giza pyramids had done the construction according to Orion's alignment. Hancock found support from Belgian writer Robert Bauval, with whom he later collaborated for many of his works. Due to the nature of his theories, Hancock has invited many controversies. In 1999, BBC2's series Atlantis Reborn discredited Hancock's theories as half-baked. Speaker Edwin Krupp demonstrated that by using Hancock's methods, the constellation of Leo may be discovered among landmarks in modern Manhattan, concluding, as long as you have enough points and you don't need to make every point fit, you can find virtually any pattern you want. Hancock and Boval complained to the Broadcasting Commission about the way they were portrayed as intellectual frauds. The BBC issued an apology on a minor point, but maintained its stance against Hancock. Hancock was embroiled in another controversy when, in his TEDx lecture, The War on Consciousness, he recommended the consumption of an Amazonian hallucinogenic brew called ayahuasca, which he claimed can enhance spiritual growth. His lecture was removed from the TEDx YouTube channel. All the criticism and controversies don't deter Hancock from espousing his pseudo-history and alternate reality. He describes himself as an unconventional thinker who raises controversial questions about humanity's past. His latest book, America Before, The Key to Earth's Lost Civilization, sounds like a redux of his earlier works, but it became an instant bestseller. His fans never seem to get enough of him, and his books have sold 9 million copies worldwide. Hancock's net worth is estimated to be $2 million, and it's likely to grow since the popularity of his thoughts is not fading anytime soon. That was all about Graham Hancock. Do you believe in the ancient super civilization? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest updates.